and happy Monday! Slim lines are all the rage right now. Slim line cards. And so in today's video, I am going to show you how I use a whole bunch of scrap paper strips to create a very decorative background for a slim line Christmas card. So I'm excited about this. Uh, my name is Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina, and I help card makers overcome their creativity block by teaching art design in my card making tutorials. And today, actually this is Monday, and Mondays I have been uh, doing a series called Scrap Paper Christmas Cards, A Scrappy Christmas, and because I get a lot of people who ask me, I need more ideas to use up my scrap paper and we have a lot of strips, scrap paper strips, especially when you work with six by six paper. Hey, good morning, Kim and good morning, Linda. How are you? So um, that is what we're doing today. We are going to create this Christmas card, a slim line card using scrap paper strips. And I have a question for you, though. What is your biggest challenge when it comes to making Christmas cards? So it is the time to get started on Christmas cards. And um, a lot of people are like, oh, I, every year I mean to send them out and I never do it. So help me to help you. Um, what are some of your big challenges? And let me see if I can't um, help you get past those challenges. All right, let me switch over to the uh, bird's eye view here. And these are all my scrap paper strips. Uh, they're cut at a half inch, okay? And they come from this gorgeous paper. By the way, our designer series paper is on sale during the month of October. So uh, this is found on page 15 in the holiday catalog, and it's called Poinsettia Place. Yeah, Poinsettia Place Designer Series Paper. And you can see the beautiful poinsettias here, holly, or I'm sorry, uh, pine, and some berries, and some holly. And then I love our designer paper because the back is usually a tone on tone, just a, a basic paper that can be used for anything. Like this green doesn't have to be a Christmas paper. It can be any time of year paper. And of course, wood is any time of, of year paper. And here's another anytime, and there's another. So um, designer series paper is just a great investment. But anyways, it is on sale right now. And if you happen to be a part of my Reese's Paper Pieces, my team, uh, we get an additional 20% off using our discount, uh, using our team discount. Okay, so that's enough of that. Let's make a slimline card. And you all are going, what's a slimline card? A slimline card is a card that fits in a business size envelope, okay? And so we're going to be making it like this, or you can make it like this, all right? And slimline, uh, we measure it at eight and a half by seven. So you just take an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and cut it at seven inches and then score it at three and a half inches. So one more time, this is for the card base for a slim line card, eight and a half by seven. All right, so I've got some comments in here and Linda says, woo, she starts her Christmas cards in January. You go, Linda, that is awesome. And Tammy says, coming up with different ideas for my cards. I do not like to mass produce cards. I like each one to be unique. Wow, that is quite ambitious, Tammy. <laughs> I do like sending out different cards, but I tend to create at least four or five of the same kind. That way um, I get at least some uh, speed in my Christmas card making. But great, awesome. I have all kinds of people here this morning. Avenel, hello. Yes, thank you for sharing with me how to say your name last week. That is awesome, hello. All right, so here's my scrap pieces. Uh, we're not finished though. So uh, with our slimline card, we need some layers. And our first layer we're doing in the old olive to go with our paper. And it's also the same size as for the inside. If you're using a dark colored cardstock, you will need an inside piece. And it just is a quarter inch smaller than your base. So eight and a quarter by three and a quarter, okay? And then also 
we need our second layer which we are going to build our strips on and it measures at eight by three inches so this is the piece we're using right now let me get all this other stuff out of the way and creating this scrap paper background is quite simple but you do need quite a few strips so gather up all your Christmas paper strips um, they don't even have to match perfectly I mean I just happen to have all of this out of the poinsettia place but you could I mean especially our designer paper most of our Christmas has old olive in it and real red in it so um, you know any Christmas paper will work we are going to start and we're also using liquid glue that way it helps well good morning Nicole how are you it also helps um, let your you can wiggle your strip around a little bit before you finish and I'm just starting in this corner here whoops I don't want that much glue and be careful not to get too much glue out or you'll have it all over the place and I'm just trying to come down at a a fairly straight line it doesn't I mean doesn't have to be perfectly straight but and then I'm just putting this right there and that's my beginning piece okay and now I'm gonna build all the rest of them off of this piece here I'm also gonna put my silicone mat underneath so that if I do have glue squish out it doesn't get on my paper okay all right and then we're just gonna go down the line here and so just and I'm gonna leave a wee bit of space like hardly any but just enough between each one so you get a little bit of the vanilla I'm using a very vanilla uh, card base here card layer and and I'm just kind of alternating different strips of paper it's pretty easy also you might want to um, I kind of put that way up there but pull it down as far as it'll come and then that way you can save these longer strips for another piece okay for now we're gonna go in a different direction okay this is fun I love this so let's go right here and I'm trying to go uh, use my math terms perpendicular in other words, making a 90 degree angle right here. So we are going to need an itty bitty piece right there because that triangle is too big. So just a little tiny dot of glue there. Come on, just a little tiny dot. All right. And then uh, snip off a piece. Let's just snip this piece off here. There we go. And we'll just stick that right in there. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know, triangle. Whoops. Yay. And I'm off the silicone mat, but I got lucky. All right, now let's trim all this up. And we, like I said, it didn't take long at all, but it just, it took a lot of strips. Oh, it did take quite a bit of time. No, the, uh, I'm just rambling now. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this part took a little bit of time. But the rest of it won't. Like I said, I have everything else already cut out. Whoops. Try not to cut into your layer. <laughs> cool, huh? Isn't that pretty? I love the way it turns out. All right, so we have our base. One more time, the layers. So the the card base is just eight and a half by seven, and then score it at three and a half. Okay, so that's our base, and then we are going to have our first layer, and I've cut it out of the old olive, so it matches my designer paper. Okay, and this is at eight and a quarter. Let me pull this up. This is an eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. That's also the same size for the inside of your card because you'll want, if you're going to use a dark um, card base, you'll want a piece of white for the inside. Um, and so eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then this piece that we are gluing all our paper on is eight by three. Okay. Now, 
Let's put this on here and where's my glue? Okay, Whee! And like I said, using glue is very helpful when you're doing a, um, when you're paper piecing like this because it allows you to wiggle the paper around for just a minute before it dries. Yeah, there we go, that looks great. All right, I'm gonna get that silicone mat out again so I can rub. There we go. There we go. All right. So we have that. And now we're going to put it on our card. Oops, take this off. And I really like how the frame how using layers really just frames our, our paper piecing. Okay. All right. So that is the base of the card. Now you can do anything you want. And I am using a really fun stamp set called Peace and Joy today. Peace and Joy. And it has these cute little uh, cutouts here. Merry, sending, on earth, Christmas, happy, and to you and yours, to the world. And we're doing joy to the world today. All right. And what is really awesome about this stamp set is also the dies that coordinate. <clears throat> you have the bright, the peace, and the joy um, cutouts in script. And then you have a double uh, echo. Okay, a double echo. So what I mean by that here, I've done the joy. Whee, come here. <laughs> there we go. So I have the joy cut out, and it is itty-bitty itty bitty then you have this echo and I did it in the vanilla so that the joy would pop out and you can leave it just like that or you can echo it a second time and now it really pops cool huh all right so once again let me get that silicone mat out because this joy is so skinny I don't want glue anywhere and I'm also going to use my fine point um, glue here Let's see if it comes out. Sometimes it gets clogged. Okay. And then I'm just running a line of it. Whee! So this is our fine tip glue. And it's clear. So if it does squish out, you're not going to see it. It also dries hard. It doesn't dry sticky. Our Tombow tends to dry sticky. And that's no fun. All right, you probably want some tweezers to work this. Come here. All right, there's my echo. And now. Cool. Uh -huh. Isn't that pretty? I love I love echoing script like that. That's a, that's another real popular thing I see on cards. I'm glad Stampin' Up! came out with a die set that does this. All right. And, of course, um, you could be done and just stick the joy on there. But I can't do that. I have to put fun stuff behind it. I'm a layerer. A layerer? <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is take some of this gold twine. And I'm going to put that on the card. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that this time. What I do is I wrap some twine around my hand so I get a fairly good loop. Okay. One, two, three. All right. And then I trim that off. Oops. And then I pinch it where the two pieces come together right there. So I've got all these loops here. But I also forgot I need some. <laughs> There we go. All right. And now I am going to, whoops, twist it. There we go. Where the two meet like that. Oops. And that's okay if one comes out because you can just pick it up and put it back down. Okay. And this one is sticking out, so I'm going to pull it back in. 
it just gives it some fun but no I need more I need more how about some sprigs if you all don't own this punch I really encourage you to get it even though it looks kind of Christmassy and it came with a Christmas set it's not it's just sprigs so any color you could even do it in hot pink it would be fun but it's just a really great layering piece and whoops we're gonna put these back here um, I'm actually gonna glue them on uh, I don't want to mess with the tape on top of that twine so I just put a little glue on the back there and stick it down and then do another one So those of you who are like, oh, I don't know how to layer. My layering never turns out good. Well, here we go. Here's, here's how you layer. You just take some ribbon or some twine, and then you take some kind of a, well, like I said, in this case, I'm doing a sprig, but you could do other things. You could do paper strips coming out. You could do, um, so what are the things you could do? Uh, different types of ribbon not just the twine but you could do the twine and then a, a regular ribbon so layering can be really fun there we go now we need some dimensionals and we are done oh no we're not we still have to do to the world joy to the world Oh, everything's sticking to my hands. Okay, Dorothy, I hear you, girl. Dorothy's being good. And she, Dorothy, your hiking is just amazing. You hiked eight miles, I believe, yesterday. Or was sometime this weekend. Wow. Love it. Okay, so there we go, Joy. Now we're going to go to the world down here. And let me show you how to do that with the stamp set. So the first thing I need is the, the stamp and some scrap paper, which I forgot to get. Hold on. Okay, here's some scrap. Joy to the world. And then they've got some great stamps in here that you can do for background. So um, if you were gonna, like on the inside, of the card you could do the little holly and put Merry Christmas something like that all right here is my stamp so I can fit yep all right and then my real red oh and I do need <clears throat> my piercing pad this kind of stamp especially when it's a flat piece and then the wording is like engraved into the rubber, you really want to make sure that your paper is completely flat so that you get a good stamped image. And I'm just going to put this in the corner here. Ta-da. All right, good job. Close this ink. Red ink is like the messiest ink. <laughs> go and put that over there and now just take my scissors I'm not even going to be that careful and I'm just trimming I'm leaving just a wee bit of the vanilla showing just a little bit in fact I'm even going to trim some more here oops come on there we go joy to the world and then we're just gonna stick that right there so we're gonna need a tiny dimensional because it is gonna hang off the edge you all know we have two size dimensionals we have regular dimensionals and then we have uh, mini dimensionals and that's for this situation right now where I have something so skinny like this there we go make sure I'm on the correct side yep there we go
joy to the world. Awesome. And we are finished. Yay! Merry Christmas, you guys! All right, like I said, this card took a little while because we did all of these strips on here, which was a lot of fun, but this is Scrappy Christmas Monday morning series, so I wanted to use up a bunch of scrap paper, but then I wanted to finish the card. I'm going to pull this up so you can see it better. And so this real pretty gold twine and the sprigs, joy to the world, um, lots of fun. Let me go over these uh, dimensionals one more time. So if you didn't catch them, the card itself, the base, is eight and a half by seven. Scored at three and a half. The first layer is eight and a quarter. This um, old olive is eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then this layer that we typed, blah, that we glued all the strips onto was three by eight. All right, and then of course your inside's gonna be three and a quarter by eight and a quarter, um, which I have right here. All right, yay, <laughs> right there. You all have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you on Wednesday for our card challenge. Now remember, Tuesday, uh, tomorrow, if you have not entered the card challenge, go ahead and go over to, well, you're on my Facebook page right now, but go up to the top where it's pinned in the announcements um, and put in a card. Um, I forgot what the challenge was, though. It was a color challenge. That's right. We're using the colors, uh, a color challenge. So uh, go out and make yourself a card with those colors. Be awesome. Make a slimline card with those colors. That would be cool uh, for a chance to win a prize. And that's on Wednesday. So today's Monday, the scrap thing. Um, our card, pa our uh, designer paper is still on sale. And if you found this tutorial helpful, let me know by sharing it with your friends. And you all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>